This video is part of a series that shows how Winston works as a comprehensive online privacy device. For more information, go to winstonprivacy.com. Okay, so we're going to do a quick performance test on Boing Boing, which is a pretty popular site. Um, what I'm going to do here, uh, first let's take a look at the site, just so you know what you're looking at. Um, you're going to see a ton of ads on the page. These are all loading up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in Chrome, go to inspect, and we're going to click on the network tab, and then we're going to do a hard refresh. And we're going to see how long that this page takes to load on my local internet connection. This is um, unfiltered, raw, you know, no Winston um, device attached. And down here, what we see is the number of requests. Um, they're still going on. We've got 5.2 megabytes of data being transferred. Now, the page is still loading the background, which is pretty typical given all the, the ads and images and tracking scripts that are being loaded. So I'm going to show you some of that. Okay, so 5.3 megabytes were transferred in 26.9 seconds. Let's just go ahead and make a note of that. 5.6 megabytes, or 5.3 megabytes in 26.9 second load time. All right, while we're here, let's click on the application tab and take a look at all the tracking cookies and everything being set here. So over here on the left, we see a ton of third party uh, advertisers who are tracking this page, you know, and they're selling the data back and forth. So the top one is Boing Boing itself, that's the first party? That's the first party, okay. yeah. And these other ones, um, you can tell these are all ad networks, Amazon, AdNexus, Google, Casale, DoubleClick, and so on. If we click on Boing Boing itself and look at their cookies, which mm -hmm. you would think, hey, you know, these guys aren't really tracking me. Um, sure enough, they are, right? Here's Facebook. Uh, Scorecard research, double click. So that's one of the instances where you're not on Facebook, but you're being tracked by Facebook yes. anyway. Yes. So I, I know you're not super familiar with the site, but that's the that's the site I look at actually to find the information on privacy. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. And they talk about how Facebook, how to get get around Facebook tracking while they're allowing Facebook to track. Yeah. They might not even know. Like. <laughs> right. And those are those because those are first party cookies. I can't clear those out if I'm just clearing my cookies. You, you can delete them one at a time. If you delete all of them, you're gonna you're gonna delete everything from Boing Boing. Um, the site will be like starting over from fresh. Hmm. Which for Boing Boing might not be too bad, right? In an e-com experience or uh, some other places where like it's memorizing your language or something, then that's a bummer. Yeah, 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 it's gonna make things much more difficult to use. So I've just plugged in Winston here, and I just want to make sure that we are not using our local wireless. So I just disconnect that. And let's refresh that same page. I'm going to go to the network tab. I'm doing a hard refresh. Okay. And we're going to see the data, all the requests coming in. Data is being transferred. DOM is being loaded. Okay, so this time we got 3.3 megabytes in 9.8 seconds. Let's see how that compared. We went from 5.3 megabytes to 3.3 megabytes. So we saved uh, at least a third. And we went from 27 seconds to under 10 seconds. So about a two-thirds reduction in the page yeah. load time. A lot less data you're using, too. So can right. I see what it looks like now? Yeah, I'm absolutely. really curious. So we had a bunch of ads before, and those ads are gone. No ads. Yeah. Clean. It looks more like Flipboard or something now. Yeah, exactly. It's just a much uh, a better experience. Kind of funny here, we were talking about Facebook, reverse engineering WhatsApp to let us talk to our friends without Facebook's oversight. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, great. Uh, so <laughs> Facebook's right. tracking the fact that you're reading that article. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. Well, interesting, yeah. Uh, can, can we just look at the cookies again that are left over now? Right. So we'll go right click, inspect, we'll go to application, and all the third party cookies have okay. been nuked automatically. And pretty much all the first party cookies um, have uh, been gotten rid of as well. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So the tracking is uh, gone. The, um, you know, the amount of memory being used on a computer is a lot less because all this consumes space. You know, as you brought, you know, 
if you've noticed, like when you use your computer over time, it gets slower and slower. Um, your browser yeah. slows down. A lot of that is because of the data that is accumulating in your browser. As you use the internet, Winston's going through and cleaning up your browser. It's getting rid of this stuff. So um, everything on your computer tends to run faster with this device. Yeah. Very cool. Thank okay. you.